A stroke is a life-changing event, physically and emotionally. Simple, everyday tasks may become more challenging or need to be relearned, and you may need more frequent rest breaks. Every stroke is unique, and your recovery will be too. As a trusted resource in your post-stroke journey, we've created step-by-step -step guides to make some common activities a little easier. Today's activity, making your home safe. You may not think about moving around safely and easily in your home until you have a stroke, but about 40% of stroke survivors experience a serious fall within a year. The good news is there are steps you can take to make your home safer. It's very important, so let's get started. First, find out where you stand with the home safety evaluation, which a social worker can do. This will include reviewing your needs and determine the home modifications that will help meet them. A case manager will work with you and your caregivers to purchase and install any necessary equipment. Even before you get an expert involved, you can start with a few helpful tips. Clear path to the kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. Remove messy spot and keep things like phone and electrical cord out of the way. Move furniture to create space wide enough for you to move through easily. Clean up any spells immediately. Remove all throw rugs to prevent tripping. Secure large rugs with double side tape. Replace any worn or torn surfaces. Install grab bars or handrail on walls to help you stand and walk. If you have the pad, attach your bell to its collar to stay aware of its location and avoid tripping over it. Use handrail in the bath or shower, or get a shower chair. Sit while you shower if possible. Use night lights in bedroom, bathroom, and hallways, and make sure you can reach light switches easily. Store items you use most often at waist level. If you feel unsteady, special equipment can help. A cane, a walker, specialized technology to improve arm and leg function, an ankle brace, a wheelchair. Now that your home is safer, take steps to prevent further falls. Stay active and keep all your muscles strong by exercising. Wear comfortable flat shoes with a low, broad heel and soles that grip. Don't wear loose slippers or walk in your socks. Don't use furniture and walls to help steady your walking. Always use handrails or your walking device. You may want to purchase a reacher or grabber, a handheld tool designed to help get things that are out of the reach without having to climb or stretch. Take control of your recovery. Always follow your therapist's safety advice and review your medications with your doctor. As you adjust to life post-stroke, remember to take it slow and be patient with yourself. Make time for rest breaks, and stop immediately if you experience shortness of breath, excessive sweating, or dizziness.